So the fact that we're even saying like, oh, Santa Claus is real, Santa Claus is going to come down your chimney is a falsehood and is something that we shouldn't be exposing as a main doctrine, especially for this holiday season. <laughs> Daisy here welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thanks for stopping by um this is pretty much a channel where i vlog i share some of my journalism content as an early career student journalist and yeah i pretty much talk about christianity and stuff so if you don't want to hear about jesus um yeah you might want to click off this video <laughs> but happy holidays guys Today is Christmas Day, so if you celebrate Christmas, some happy holidays to you. I'm pretty much going to be talking about why we should stop lying to our children, our nephews, our nieces, our siblings, and our future children. So I know the biggest argument I'm probably going to get from this video is just the whole idea of not robbing kids of their imagination, robbing kids of like their childhood. but at the same time especially if you're someone who identifies as a christian it's always important to seek the truth first which we know of course especially when it comes to training up kids how you want them to be and training your kids how you'd like to raise them in such a way that reflect god that reflect these christian values so i'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it we need to stop telling kids that santa claus is real especially if you're a christian because in all truthfulness the bible instructs us to speak what is true i'll prove it to you ephesians chapter 4 verse 25 reads therefore laying aside falsehood speak truth each of you with your neighbor for we are members of one another so the fact that we're even saying like oh santa claus is real santa claus is going to come down your chimney is a falsehood and is something that we shouldn't be exposing as a main doctrine especially for this holiday season because the way i see it if we're gonna say oh this is the time for cheer this is the time to be merry this is the time to celebrate the birth of jesus why do we have to bring santa claus and elves and chimneys into the picture right Another good reason why we should probably stop telling kids that Santa Claus is real is that it could lead to a lot of theological confusion as they get older. And I say that because what if someone asks them, oh, you believe in Santa Claus? Hmm, so you believe in God too? Because now that's just saying that, oh, you've already been exposed to a false doctrine ever since you were a little kid. So your innocence is already being stripped away from you because now you're being robbed from ever knowing God. Because believe it or not, these kids will grow up to question the practices of Christians, especially considering that the first interaction that we had to them, the first um, opportunity that we got to expose truthness to them, because you realize like, you know, when people say, oh, it's all for love, you know, it's all for fun, it's all for giggles, it's for the kids, it's to remain their innocence. And so if the root of everything is love, if everything abides in the name of love, and love is patient, and love is truthfulness and kindness, then why is it that we blatantly lie to our children? Now, don't be discouraged if you know that you're guilty of doing this, because I know that I definitely am. My recommendation is to eventually confess that you're sorry for exposing that false doctrine and just exposing them to that false kind of spirit and you know what i may be looking a little bit too deep into this but i just feel like um, if they can believe that they also can believe how good god is they can also believe in the gospel at a very young age so which one would you rather your child be exposed to it's something to think about but i'm out guys merry christmas happy holidays kwanzaa all that good stuff bye